my friends welcome to our channel today in today's video i will be discussing a forum post this is more of a discussion video not a help video i think this this problem has been solved already but i this is an interesting topic and i want to make a video about it so here the idea is there are two surfaces one at the bottom or at the top the inner one has a smaller coverage so this top surface fits in within this void that's on the bottom surface and the, the original poster uh, they want to have a smooth transition between those now these uh, corners are not uniform so they are not filleted with the same radius of arcs so we definitely uh, cannot do a revolve or something like that like we did in, in one of our like very recent video where we did a revolve around this uh, sweep around this gap it, it's not going to work so it will have to be a curve and i'm thinking blend surface would be a good thing so i recommended that here i did a lot of blend surface and then try to fill it up um, the problem is these corners are not blending in very good as you can see that here the the corner is not so we will have to address this and that's one issue there are other recommendations like the silk workbench but i think that comes around the same outlook uh, that would be another video on silk workbench but for now today i will be discussing how we can improve this corner situation using blend surface so i downloaded that file i'm going to go ahead and open it up in freecad 1.1 developers version so i'm using developers version because this will be the new version when it comes out and there are a few tiny little uh, differences between 1.1 and and current stable 1.0.1 so i want to get on top of it um when i can but it is basically the same for you if you are using freecut 1.0 or 1.0.1 uh, the same thing All right with that let's get into it so we have one face at the bottom with, with a big hole in the middle and another one at the top, a smaller one. And the goal is to have a smooth transition between these. Now, I need this surface, but I need them broken up down. You can see in my previous video where I need equivalent surfaces and surface edges to have blend surface and this is one single surface so we'll have to we'll have to break it down so let's go ahead and delete that both of these now we have the we have the sketches and so here is this edge and there is one edge right here this we can create a linear um, a ruled surface between that we can create a ruled surface between these two but that leaves us this tiny little surface right uh, to create a, a, a surface between these three edges. We can do that differently, but I think that will create the same issue that we, we showed uh, you in here. It will not help us solve that problem. So what I plan to do is I want, I want to break this edge up down here and break this one right here and make it kind of like a bigger one. So that way uh, the edge between the top and bottom profile kind of like becomes uh, rational more rational with that goal i think uh i think i don't need these join curves so i deleted that so we have the basic what we had from the from the downloaded post let's go ahead take the original sketch and break things down so we decided we will break it somewhere here i'll just split it maybe somewhere here right and let's do that on all the edges uh, that's probably too right here okay and this edge would be something like this well we are at it maybe i can actually break down this edge too so that would be that would be more uh, pleasing to the eyes when we build the surfaces. Right. There. 
so that should do on this so what i plan to do is i plan to take this middle edge and this edge and create a root surface between these two from part workbench and we will do that all around right so that's our four surfaces now in in here that will be one surface so what i can do i can go to surface workbench and create a filling surface take these all these edges right and create a filling surface in the middle so that's what we want to do but when we in in future like in couple minutes we will do the blend surface and that time we will have to we'll have to take this surface and take the edge this edge is not covering the whole area so what we will have to do is actually let me delete this surface let me bring back that original surface uh, the sketch what i can do is i can take these three edges and create a join curve from curves workbench now maybe is a good time to tell you that if curves if you have never used curves workbench before go ahead and install it from the add-on manager under tool uh, search for curves workbench it's a it's an add-on um, curves workbench but you will need it so go ahead and install that and restart your software and here we can take these three edges and create a join curve so what it will do is now if i hide that sketch this is one edge filling in the same taking in the same location of the three edges so that's one way to combine the three edges right. so we will do that all around because we know that we will need that so i have that join curve on my global toolbar shortcut and i'll just keep using that right so now we have the the corner edges now i can hide the sketch or uh, maybe not all right so because i need these two edges but when i select it i'll have to make sure like i am selecting the the join curve not this broken three edges all right let's do that so surface workbench actually i have the surface tool on my curves workbench as a custom toolbar so I can access all the surface related toolbars from the curves workbench. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. So this is the filling surface from surface workbench. So right there, that's, I just brought it in over here. So I will use that. So I'll take the join curve right here and take all the other edges and make a closed profile surface right there. That's my surface. Let's keep doing that. So I'll just take the join curve there and take the edges. So the edges is coming from the root surface there. Okay, so we have all of our surfaces prepared. So that's like kind of like priming, uh, preparing for the actual work. So we got that we have eight surfaces with their edges in there now i can hide this sketch so we have eight surfaces each of them has their edge uh, edge we can actually go ahead and hide this join curves as well because the surface now has its own edge all right so let's do the same on on, on here we we break it up in uh, four different surfaces because we have four at the bottom and uh, eight at the bottom we'll have to make eight here so i'll just double double click on the sketch you can see that these uh, corners are not uniform we will leave it like that and we will just join the centers so maybe um, maybe this is what you know they needed right so we'll just leave it like that now we can do is take these two and create a root surface again this is from the part workbench i just brought it in so i could use that very easily so there uh, now i can go ahead and fill this in with the filler surface there 
all right so almost there now we can fill this in it could be a ruled surface it could be a filling filling surface it doesn't matter so i'll just keep um, keep the same filling surface and there so that's a lot of stitched up surfaces but that's what we need to create our blend surface now we'll have to create a blend surface so let's do this blend surface is this tool where we create a smooth transition between two surfaces using their edges at their, as their guide so we take the surface first and take the edge and then take the edge of the next surface and take the surface so four clicks in sequence and hit blend surface so you can see that that's a smooth transition um, and that has a continuity two. So if it is continuity two, we are leaving it that all of them will have to be at the same continuity, right? So we'll just leave it like that. And let's do that all around. So that will be four middle surfaces uh, that will have this thing. So if you want to come up from the bottom to the top, you can do that as well. So the only thing is uh, come either either way but it will have to be in sequence there so we created a continuity two surface around right and now we don't have any of the sketches visible all of them are edges of the surface actually let's see there's the sketch visible let's hide that i have a macro that hides all the sketches in this in this list so i'll just hit that make everything hidden uh, let's let's see if that macro is working so we have this surface visible right and hit this sketch the hit this macro yeah that's hidden all right so that's the macro is working now what i want to do i want to fill this corner in but last time we did in the uh, in, in this example this was a blend surface between this edge and this edge it did not work nice so what i will do is i'll try a filling surface um this time so i will just add these four edges or we could use the uh, all right so we got this filling surface now we can have a more controlled filling in here if i double click on this surface on this edge and it will say you can pick a face attached to it and have continuity changed in it so you can see that it's changing it's more continuous now so we can do that all around all the four uh, faces and that's why i said don't keep any sketches visible here because we need the edge of the surface so we can have the continuity in here for a final control all right so that worked the corner filled up real good okay or let's see we can do a um gordon surface too there it is that's the gordon surface so gordon surface needs four edges let's do that let's see if we can take this edge these four edges right see if i can make a gordon surface out of it Oh, it did not work. All right, now the software hung up on me. Let me restart the software. Okay, so I want to recover it. Oh, yeah, we didn't lose much. Um, let me save it before I lose again. Okay so the gordon surface did not work that's all right we have something working we'll just keep working on it so i'll just take the filling surface and add four edges right and then add a surface continuity to each of those edges that way the surface um, that we are creating will have better continuity with its surrounding faces or surfaces there it looks nice it blends in very good and if this blend surface if this filling surface did not work 
I'd go work on the next one, the fill boundary curves. But as I said, the filling surface seems working very nice here. Uh, at least it looks very nice to look at it. So I will take that as a as an acceptable uh, tool for this purpose. All right, the last one. Okay, so that's it. So that was the challenge to have a, a full blend surface or like a um, a visually smooth transition between this top level and the bottom level, um, which has irregular corners. And there is nothing uniform about this. And that was the, uh, that was the challenge that we took on. I think it looks pretty good. The, the corners are pretty much blended up. So if you are looking for some irregular transition between one uh, with, with some vertical elevation, uh, a combination between a uh, combination of blend surface and the filling surface, maybe what do you need? Or maybe uh, Gordon surface. I don't know why it didn't work. Oh, it didn't have the middle uh, guide edges. So if you had a middle guide curve right here in the middle, maybe Gordon surface would have worked too. All right, with that, my friend, I'm going to close this out. If you have any question, comment, or suggestion on this model, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.